Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at Corvette Midwest Mike, and I'm with Bill Katsum. Lou, welcome back. Bill's no stranger to the show. He's always got a great car, and the nice thing about his cars are they're for sale. He's found some great owners who've decided it's time to move them on to maybe someone just like you. So Bill, what do we have today? We have a 1956 Aztec Copper Corvette. And I was excited about this one. I ran out to see it because I was thinking, I know what a 55 looks like. I know what a 57 is. The 56 looked like the 55, or does it look like the 57? Well, we're going to show you. I'll grab the camera as I usually do. So it looks like the 57 right off the bat. And this one has been totally restored. So, Bill, tell me, where did this one come from? What, you know, tell me a little bit about it. This was a frame-off restored car about 20 years ago. Uh, 1956 was the survival year of the Corvette. That's the year that uh, Marcus Duntoff took over to try to salvage the Corvette before the GM execs let it die. And this was the new design that they came out with. And people kind of forget that because the Corvette obviously has been around what seems like forever, but the Corvette almost did die because the what was it, the Thunderbird was getting a lot of press coming yes, out? Was. And, and in 55, they only made 700 of these, and that production just wasn't high enough. So and in 56, they didn't make many either. They made 3,400, of which this is uh, one of 400 in this color combination. And it looks good. What do they call this teeth thing here? That's a, like a shark's tooth grill. Shark's tooth grill. Which did carry over from <laughs> the, the first generation. Carry over. And I just want to show you the difference. Here's the front end of a 56, and there is the front end of a 55. So it's nice to have the two side by side to kind of show you the differences there. And these are actual functional vents for air, if I've got that correct. And we've got the National Corvette Restorer Society, which means that this car has been done right. I want to show you this car from the back. I'm not a Corvette aficionado, Bill, maybe you can help me. I thought the, the logos in 56 and 57 were a little different. Uh, say the logos were different. Like maybe the 57 had a, a plastic license plate ring or something. Maybe that was later on. Actually, that changed later. That changed later, yep. okay. Keeping me on top of it, I like it. All right, let's take a look at the trunk on this one because it's pretty clean. And even I like, take a look at the exhaust. I want to get that close up so people can see that the exhaust is inside this bumperette, and you've got these little bumper pieces with the lights for the. Go ahead, show me that. And these are really tough pieces because nobody really is reproducing all these bumper pieces. So uh, normally you have to find original ones. The spare tire is under the spare tire board. Board. Yes. It's an actual. Yep, board. it's a piece of plywood. Yeah. yeah. And we've got the the irons here for that. For the scissors jack, yes. For the scissors jack. And then the uh, the coloring matches the uh, interior. The interior. Cool. Let's shut that for a moment, please. I'm gonna give people the overall look at the back again. Just one more shot of what that looks like. So classic, right? That's just fantastic. And then that's the back of this, and then you can see the back of the 55 are kind of those rocket points to it. So that's kind of neat. Let's take a look at the interior, shall we? I just want to show where the, the gas filler goes in. Go ahead, Bill, would you open that for me? So another thing that was similar was that angle in the door. There was a big angle on those doors. Now this is the first here that had roll-up windows. Oh, really? Prior to that, they had side curtains. Side curtains. Did not know that. And this little step here seems unique. I call it a little badging. A hood latch. And Bill, you were sharing the options on this car. This little button here shows that light going on and off. That's the courtesy light. And that was an option back that there at that option. time. The radio was an option. The heater was an option. Let me show that. And this is when the brake is on, that light comes on. 
me see if I can give you a better angle there. I really like this car. On the tachometer in the middle of that is also another counter. A lot of similarities on this dash and the 55. And all important three speed. Pretty nice. All right, so let me get on this one for you there. Like so, I want to just kind of show that from there. What the driver sees. Okay, let's take a look under the hood. Love this wraparound windshield. You were sharing the 56 also had a um, the 56 also had a 265 engine. Yes. Where the 57 went to the 283. It went to 283, yeah, because it was one year on the 265. So. Give a little pull there, Bill. That's what happens when you have a 56. Yep. I guess I'm just not strong enough to uh, pull it all the way out. Pull the, all the way out. There we go. <laughs> Note to self. There we go. That was worth the wait. Now the dual four barrels was not standard, correct? That only came with the stick shift? With the manual transmission, yes. That was uh, an upgrade, two WCFB carburetors, 225 horsepower. That's pretty cool. Get the hood there. Let's start it up, shall we? Okay. That's a good sound. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's got a fairly good cam in it. <laughs> 